So you're trying to get your audio from Elgato Wavelink to your streaming PC, but Elgato doesn't have a third output to send to a particular output on your computer to get all of your audio to your stream PC. It's actually more simple than you might think. And so is Visuals by Impulse because you literally drag and drop all of your assets in and it's as cheap as five bucks. So upgrade your stream alerts. This is gonna be one of the shortest tutorials I've ever done, which isn't really saying that much since my videos can get up to 40 minutes long showing people how to do something. But let's make this quick and simple. You've got your main game setup here and you want to be able to get your audio from Wavelink into your streaming PC. Now there are other ways to do this without Elgato software but this is going to be so easy if you use Elgato streaming software which means you have to get an Elgato Wave 1, Wave 3 or a Wave XLR. And I got a Wave 1 costs 70 bucks. It's an amazing microphone. But if you want to check out that video where you don't need Elgato Wavelink, link is in the top right in the cards. But here's how you do it with Wavelink. First, go to your audio icon on your taskbar and click sounds. Then click the recording tab and scroll down to Wavelink stream. Right click and go to properties. Then go to the listen tab. Check on listen to this device and then select the playback through device as your capture card in the drop down menu. In my case, this is the HD60X and this does need to be connected to your graphics card via HDMI. Now your audio is going to show up in your stream PC because the audio is going through your capture card and this includes your microphone because it's your stream mix which usually you would have that on your stream software on your gaming PC but you're not streaming from your gaming PC so that stream mix is going to your capture card and then into your stream PC and that's pretty much it. That's actually very straightforward. Now, you've upgraded your stream. Don't forget to upgrade your alerts. Visuals by Impulse is a great way to go when getting free or even cheap alerts for your live streams. And this includes overlays and even some really awesome custom alerts as well. Use my link down below for 5% off or just use the coupon Frost at checkout and you'll get that 5% off. Now, there's one more thing. You're not gonna be able to hear your stream alerts with this setup because your stream alerts are on a completely different computer and you have nothing going to your gaming PC so that you can hear your alerts. Here's how you fix that. First, connect the 3.5 millimeter audio cable to your streaming PC. This needs to be an out or headphone jack on your streaming PC. Connect the other end of that cable into the microphone or line in on your gaming PC. Right click on your audio icon on your taskbar and click sounds. Then click the recording tab and scroll down to the mic or line in that you just plugged your 3.5 millimeter jack into. Mine is called line in mic. Right click and go to properties. Go to the listen tab and check on listen to this device. Then in the drop down menu, choose the playback through device as one of your audio channels in Wavelink. This can be any audio channel in Wavelink that is not occupied. This way you can listen to your stream alerts from your streaming PC while still connected to your gaming PC. Don't forget to mute the stream output button here on this channel so that the audio stream alerts don't loop back into your Wavelink stream because that's going to your capture card and into your streaming PC. You don't them to hear your alerts twice. If this video helped, let me know down below and I'll pin your comment. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. But until then, make something great. Make it great, like really great, especially with your new alerts now from Visuals by Impulse.